Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Property Manager 101, and for today's video, I'll be reviewing with you some best practice when using for rent signs. For rent signs are much more common when a unit is available on the single family side than they are on the multifamily side. But I have seen these used on the multifamily side. Now, one thing to note as well, I've also seen these used for rentable items on the multifamily side. For example, if you have a storage unit open or a garage unit open, that is something that you rent out that anyone can have access to if they decide that they want to pay for something like that. That is something I've seen these four rent signs used quite often for situations like that on the multifamily side. For today's video, I'll be reviewing with you three things to consider when considering using four rent signs. The first thing to consider is security. Now this could be the biggest reason not to use a for run sign at your property. You're basically advertising to everyone, this property is vacant. Depending on your market or your neighborhood of that asset, it could be a situation where you're setting up that property to have damage done to it, you have, could have a theft problem with that. You could also have a situation where you encourage squatters to come onto that property and live there. And that is obviously none of the things that you want to have as an operator of a property. I've been involved in both on the single family side and the multifamily side where appliances were stolen, HVAC units were stolen, when we've actually had a for rent side out at the property showing that this unit is available. So it is something you really want to consider Am I setting up the asset to be put in a situation where it could have more theft, more damage, or more likelihood of squatters happening to it if I put a for rent sign out there? If you're on the fence where you're like, hey, this I think it's light could happen here, or a situation where you're not sure, then I rather play it safe and not use a for rent sign at the property. So just some things to consider when it comes to the security aspect of using for rent signs. The second thing you want to consider regarding for rent sign is if there's any local and or HOA regulations with using a for rent sign at your property. I've been involved with many HOAs that do not allow for rent size to be used anywhere in that community. And this is something as the property manager, you're going to want to ask your owner directly, does your HOA have any regulations of using for rent signs when your unit becomes available? In addition to using for rent signs, there's some other things you want to consider asking your owner in the event they have an HOA at the community that they have an asset in that you're managing it for. For example, if a prospect comes to tour the property, does someone have to be with them when they tour the property? Certain HOAs like condos, I've seen situations that this is very common where they have to have a real estate agent and or a representative of the property management company show them around. They can't go unattended. Um, another situation where things could come up regarding a certain HOA policy that you want to ask about is, are they going to allow remote access boxes to be used? Some HOAs I've seen where they, are, they do not allow realtor boxes or any type of remote access boxes. So asking about for rent signs should go along those same questions that I just asked. You want to make sure they're always asking the owner in the event their asset is part of an HOA. I hope you're enjoying this video so far and learning something new. If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And the last dynamic that you want to consider when using for rent signs is you want to make sure that you have good practices when it comes to any type of aspect regarding marketing or advertising your property with using for rent signs. If you do decide, hey, this property is a good property where we want to use for rent signs, there's no HOA regulations to not use them. It's not in an area that I'm concerned about jeopardizing the property's theft or squatters or any type of situation like that. Then here's some things to keep in mind when it comes to good practices when using for rent signs. First, I would always recommend using that for rent sign and putting it up at the first day that you're able to actually start showing the property, meaning this property has been turned, it's been cleaned, carpet cleaned, any maintenance work's been done to it, any painting, it is 100% ready to go for a move in. So you know it's going to be in good condition for any showings. Now, I would always put that for rent sign up the first day that unit's good for showings and then remove that for rent sign on the day that you received an executed lease for that unit. I wouldn't necessarily remove the for rent sign if you just receive an application. That may be too soon because if the application is denied or if they cancel. So I always wait until the unit has an executed lease on it because then the likelihood of them moving in is very, very strong. One thing to consider with this as well, if you're going to use for rent signs, I would not recommend using them where you're not putting them up on day one. 
And I think it just sends the, a bad message to the market and it sends a bad message to any owners and investors. Because if the property is sitting for a period of time, and maybe it sits longer than you may have expected, by putting that for rent sign up two weeks or three weeks into it being vacant or longer, you're basically saying to the owner, hey, we're, we're, we're kind of getting desperate, we want this unit to rent, and we didn't put our best foot forward initially by not adding a for rent sign, but we think by adding one now, we're going to be able to lease it at a higher likelihood in the near future. So I think it sends a wrong message to any owners, but also sends that you're kind of desperate to any prospects that were considering been looking at that unit. So you always want to make sure you put it up the first day it's available and take it down once you have an executed lease to make sure you're sending the right message to the market and your investment group. Another thing when it comes to this sign is you want to set the sign in a well-lit place that receives good light throughout the day in, in front of that unit so it can easily be seen by both sides of the road when driving in either direction. I've seen too often where a for rent signs placed maybe where it only receives good light half of the day or underneath a tree and you really want to make sure it's in a very well lit place that can easily be seen by both sides of the road driving in either direction. I would also recommend placing the sign in a place where it couldn't be easily blocked if someone parked in front of the unit. You want to make sure it's always viewable at all times. So if someone to park their car in front of your vacant unit, which does happen often, you want to make sure that it can still be seen from the road if you're driving up to that unit in either direction. A key point that you want to keep in mind when it comes to for rent signs as well is you want to make sure you include some sort of contact information on that sign. Don't just have the sign saying for rent. You want to include either a phone number or a website or something that will allow that prospect that is interested in scheduling a tour directions knowing how to schedule a tour. So it's going to be really important that you include some sort of contact information on that sign. So if someone drives by that sign, sees it's for rent, is interested, they know how to schedule a tour. Another couple good practices to keep in mind when advertising with a for rent sign is you want to make sure the sign is always clean and all the writing on it's clearly visible on both sides. Sometimes these can get very weathered as they sit outside for long periods of time. So making sure whatever sign you put up there is very clean and you want to make sure both sides are consistently clean as you inspect the unit. Periodically when you inspect the unit, one thing you always want to make sure as well is because oftentimes the sign will start to lean one way or another due to wind. This makes it hard to be clearly viewable from either side of the street. So it's really important that as you're inspecting the unit, you're ensuring that it's standing in a good position, easily viewable from both sides. And this is something you're probably going to have to do at least once or twice as far as reposition due to wind and weather and things like that. If your portfolio is big enough, I would highly recommend getting some custom for rent signs. You know, having your logo on it, your consistent directions as far as how to schedule a tour. Maybe it has your company's colors or font style, and this will really brand your company. And I think it's a really good thing to get some custom ones made if your portfolio is big enough. And for a video recap today, here's some things you wanna keep in mind. Number one, you really want to make sure if you're going to use for rent signs, it's not an asset that may jeopardize the security and safety of that property. Number two, you want to make sure that there's no local and or HOA regulations with using for rent signs. And last but not least, you want to make sure that you keep in mind the eight things that I shared about good practices from a marketing and advertising standpoint when it comes to using for rent signs at your property. If you've already done so, please watch my disclosure video as well as my why I do this video, and I'll put both links in the description to this video. And if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. Also, if you haven't connected already, please connect to our LinkedIn and our Instagram page for industry news, polls, and video releases. If you have any questions about this video or any of my videos, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be happy to address it for you. Happy leasing.